Before you sign your next record deal, listen to this. A few weeks ago, somebody reached out to me to say that a particular record label wanted to sign him, but that they were asking for a registration fee of 5,000 naira, and they promised to pay him a monthly salary of 300,000 naira, but that he thought that, you know, there was something suspicious about it. And I said, well, I'm not quite aware that record labels should ask you for a registration fee. So how about you tell them when you start collecting your salary, you could give them 5,000 naira out of the first salary. So you take 295,000 naira on the first month instead of 300,000 naira. But, you know, of course, I just told him to do whatever he felt like doing, but that it did not sound like a good deal. And then another week after, somebody reaches out to me again to say, oh, if I, um, there's a record label that says I should come and pay 300,000 naira as registration fee to get signed. And I'm like, I don't understand this pay to register to sign deal. Because it sounds like... It is all the money that you guys use for registration that they would use to sponsor one artist. That's if they actually intend doing that. I don't know. But it just didn't sound right. Now, here is what I know happens. A record label could decide to sign you like a parent. So they take care of your housing, they take care of your feeding, everything. Logistics, PR, branding, everything. In fact, some of them get you an artist manager, you know. But... They just do the total every, is it like a 360 deal, basically. That's one. Two, which is more of what they do these days. They some cannot really afford to give you a car or a house because they don't know what you're really going to make for them. So what they really just sponsor is your craft. So your music, your uh, branding as an artist, everything they take care of, but they don't take care of your personal well-being. Now, another one which is more hush-hush, you don't get to hear about it because it's coded, is that the artist is rich or super wealthy and then takes his or her own money to the label. Now, this is the rationale behind it. You're wealthy, you have a lot of money as an artist, but you don't have the skills to actually get your music out there. So you are sure that you just probably hand money to people that don't know the job and they will scam you. So you look around for a record label that has been successful so far, and then you take your money to them and say, you know what, I have the skill, I have the art, I am a musician, but I do not know how to sell myself. And I have the money to sell myself. So I'm providing the money for you guys to do the job. So do the job, and then you, could, you guys can agree on what the sharing pattern will be at the end of the day. Either way, or rather, whichever one of the three types you want to go for, you should take a lawyer along, an entertainment lawyer to be specific, to help you, to guide you through this, or sit with you through such conversations. Now, those are the kinds of deals that I know exist. You see, down one, about paying registration fee. My hand, no deal. I don't know. Like, I would rather say you should walk away from it. But if you have gone for such deals before and it worked perfectly well for you, please let me know in the comment section. Share with us. Share your experience. Has it been good? Or did you get scammed as a result of trying to pay registration fee? Were you picked? Were you shortlisted? Or was the reason given to you for not being shortlisted if you were not? But if it's working for you, share with us. Me, in my years of experience, I do not think it's a viable kind of deal.